you've probably seen ocean waves. And you probably know that light and sound are waves. But what exactly are waves and why are they so important? Suppose you wanted to send some energy to a friend. One way would be to throw the friend a baseball. You put energy into the ball when you throw it. And your friend takes the energy from the ball when she catches it. In this example, energy is carried by an object, the ball. That is, the energy is transferred from one person to another by transferring matter. But energy can also be transferred without any accompanying transfer of matter. Any transfer of energy without an accompanying transfer of matter is called a wave. Suppose that, instead of throwing a ball, you and your friend each hold an end of a springy rope. If you flip your end of the rope up and back down quickly, a bump, known as a wave pulse, travels from you to your friend. Notice that once the pulse passes, the rope itself is in its initial position. In this case, the energy passes from you to your friend and no matter is transferred. The process of wave pulses can be likened to energy traveling through a series of masses connected by springs. With this setup, when you move your hand up, you pull mass 1 up with it. But as you move your hand and mass 1 down, mass 1 pulls mass 2 up. As mass 1 pulls mass 2 back down, mass 2 pulls mass 3 up. In this manner, the disturbance, or pulse, moves down the string to your friend. Each mass moves only a small distance. But the pulse moves all the way from you to your friend. The energy is transferred, but the matter remains in one place. In our example, masses connected by a spring move up and down. These masses are called the medium. The substance through which waves pass is called the medium of the wave, or the medium through which it propagates. In ocean waves, the medium is the water. The medium in sound waves is air. What is the medium of the wave through baseball game spectators? Is it A, the fans, B, the air, or C, the hot dogs? Incorrect. Try again. Correct. Waves are often classified by the way the medium moves in respect to the direction the wave travels. In our example of masses connected by springs, the medium, the masses, moved up and down as the pulse moved from left to right across the screen. This is known as a transverse wave. In a transverse wave, the medium moves perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. How many possible dimensions could the medium of a transverse wave move? One, two, or three? No, one of the three possible dimensions correct. There are two transverse directions. We have shown the up and down transverse motion. In and out of the screen is a second direction of motion in transverse waves. Now suppose that instead of moving our spring connected masses up and down or side to side, we push them in and pull them out. Each mass would move slightly forward and then back. In this case, the masses move in the same dimension as the pulse propagates. This is called a longitudinal wave. In a given wave, there is only one dimension of medium motion. When a wave pulse reaches the end of the medium through which it is propagating, it is reflected back. If the end of a rope is fixed so that it cannot move, the pulse flips over and comes back upside down or inverted. Inverted means turned upside down. 
If instead of being fixed, the end is free to move up and down, the wave reflects without inverting, propagating back through the medium right side up. If the medium does not end, but simply changes, part of the wave reflects while part continues propagating through, or is transmitted. The reflected wave is inverted when the new medium is harder to move than the original medium. The reflected wave is upright when the new medium is easier to move than the old. The transmitted wave is always upright, regardless of the new medium. What happens when two waves enter the same space? Suppose we send two pulses down a rope, one from either end. As the two waves cross, their amplitudes simply add up. Unlike two material objects, two waves can occupy the same space. When this happens, the waves add together. This adding of waves is called superposition. What do you think will happen if an upward pulse and a downward pulse cross? Will they A. Bounce off each other B. Cancel each other out and stop all motion on the string C. Cancel each other out as they move through each other and then continue in their original forms after they pass each other. Correct. As the pulses move through each other, they cancel. So while the pulses are moving through one another, the string is completely flat. However, once the pulses have passed through each other, they continue along the string in their original forms. What determines how fast a wave moves? In a small pulse, the string itself moves slowly. In a large pulse, the string moves fast. However, both of these pulses move down the string at the same speed. The speed of the wave does not depend on the speed of the medium. So, what does determine the speed? In our example of masses connected by springs, Larger masses result in a slower wave. Stiffer springs result in a faster wave. In general, waves move slower as the medium gets harder to move, heavier, and faster as the connecting forces in the medium become stronger. For waves on a string, the speed decreases as mu, the linear mass density of the string, increases and the speed increases as F, the string tension, increases. For sound waves moving through a gas, the speed decreases with increasing density and increases with increasing pressure. Thus, the speed of a wave moving through a gas increases with increasing temperature.